Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over a bag of words and using it within ML.net. And before we get to the code, let's take a, just a brief introduction into what bag of words is. To put it simply, bag of words just generates word counts. So for each word in the corpus that you give it, it's going to count each of those words. And it does that by counting all the tokens. And that means you need to tokenize before you feed it into the bag of word transform. And getting the word counts can be useful for figuring out what words are the most important within your documents. And that can even help you figure out the topics within your documents. So let's go over a small example here. I like natural language processing. My native language is easy to process. So if we take the bag of words, it will look something like this. So we see, I like natural language processing. My native language, and this over here, counted twice, is easy to process. Also notice that process and processing is counted separately. So in order to get these counted twice, you would also need to do some stemming or lamentizing process before you do the bag of words. Also notice I is capitalized. And so you can also do kind of a lowercase processing on all of your text before you feed it in there as well. So that's just kind of a brief example and an introduction to bag of words. Let's see how to do that within ML.net. All right, so I'm in Visual Studio here. I have a .NET Core console project and we'll just install ML.net. All right, using version 1.4 here. All right, so we'll create our context. And then we're going to get some data here. So I'm going to generate a new list. I'm going to create a class called input. And let's go ahead and create this class. Here we go. It's just going to have a single property string called a text. I'll just have one item in here. And we'll give it the text. Yeah, I really enjoy programming in C sharp and I really like it. All right, so we'll use that as our kind of our input data. Next, we'll read it into ML.net using context data load from enumerable. That generates our uh, data view here. Next, let's generate our bag of words pipeline and we'll do context transforms text and then produce word bags. And if you remember from, from the slides, I, I said you had to tokenize these items first. We don't have to do that within our ML.NET code because produce word bags internally tokenizes the text for us. So that's one step we don't have to worry about. All right, so our output column, I'll say bag of words. Input column is going to be text. So it's going to match this property name. And we have some optional parameters that we can put in. I'm going to do ngram length of one. So I want just a single word and to kind of enforce that, I'll say use all links false. And then I'm gonna say waiting and it's gonna be a waiting criteria. And I'm gonna say term frequency. So that will generate our counts there. And then I would get the transformer by doing the pipeline that fits, pass in our data view. And then I'll get the back of words data view by using the transform dot transform using that same data view. Then I'm going to create a prediction engine. Context.model, create prediction engine. So I have that input. I need to generate an output schema class. And I'll pass in that transform, or the backwards model that we did up here with the fit. Let's generate this output. And our output is just going to be a single property. It's going to be a float array. And I call it a bag of words. All right, so with our prediction engine, we can now make a prediction or generate our bag of words from our input there. Do prediction engine, predict, and I'll take our single item in our data up here. Next, let's get the original data that we passed in here. And in order to do that from our bag of words data view, we need to get some slot names and get the values from them. And to do that, V buffer of read only memory of character. Call that slot names. 
and I'll set that to the default of that type there. And I'll use the bag words data view, that schema. And within that schema, I'll grab the bag of words column from it. And from there, I'll call get slot names. And I'll reference the slot names variable. So with those slot names, we can get the bag of words column. Bag of words data view, get column. It's a V buffer of float. And I'll pass in the data view, that schema, the bag of words column. And I can get my slots by saying slot names dot get values. And let's print out some stuff here. I do console dot write and I'll print out the engrams that the bag of words transformer produced for us. So for each for each row in the bag of words column. And then within there, I'll do another for each, for each item in the row that items. From there, I'll do console.write. And I'll use the, the slots that we got. And I'll do item.key, get those engrams. And then within the first for loop, I'll do a console.write line can space things out. So that's the engrams. That gives us the data, the actual text data that the produced word bags gives us. And now for the actual word counts, I do another console.write. I do word counts. Now I do a for loop here. And I'll keep looping until the prediction bag of words that length. And within the loop, I do console.write. And I'll print out the prediction that bag of words at the index that we're looping through. Then at the end, I'll just do a console that write line and I'll just give it a new line. Kind of help us read this out. And let's run this and see what we get here. And I didn't space my items out here. So let's do that real quick in the slot names, add some spacing in there to make it easier to read. And we'll run this again. There we go. So our engrams, I really enjoy programming in C sharp and like it. So it, it determined that I really was used again, so it didn't produce it up here. Then we got our word counts. So I really enjoy programming in C sharp and like it. And I really like it. So it, it counted I really twice since that's what we use twice in there. So all right, so that's how you can use emote.net to produce your word counts with the bag of words transform. So I hope you liked the video and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks.